Well, Rich, our garage floor is sufficiently dried, so now comes the fun part. We actually get apply the coating. We got our step A and step B. I guess the next step is to mix the two together. Yeah, we're gonna take the hardener, part B, and mix it into the colorant, which is part A. All right, I know with working with epoxies that sometimes there's a sweating time. What's the sweating time? It's about that? 30 minutes which is actually about half the time of some of the other products on the market. I agree, that's very quick. So we let it sit for about 30 minutes, and then it's time to cut in, start right. doing the trim. Exactly. What type of brush are we using on that? Just a regular bristle brush, three inches, something that's very easy for everybody to use. All right, we're working from the side into the floor. Right. All right, now once that's on, we work with a wet edge like we do with the regular painting. Yes. And we actually roll the coating on, we're going to roll the coating on or brush it on, whichever works best if you get into some tight areas. All right. If but we were going to roll it on, what size nap roller would we use? About a 3 8 inch. What size area would we use? We try to do about a 2 foot by 6 foot section at a time. Okay. Are there any temperature limitations on using this product? We try to want to do it above 40 to 45 degrees and keep it underneath 90 degrees. All right. Well, what's the color we're using here? It's called Artist's Canvas. Artist's Canvas. Custom color. Now it's time to apply the flakes or not apply them. It's up to the individual customer. If he wants the flakes, you can shake on a lot, you can shake on a little. It's a really neat little process. It really adds a little bit of a nice little dimension to the project. Now this is going to protect the garage floor from spalling, from salt damage, from staining and everything, correct? Yeah, that's the whole idea. It's going to keep your garage in a lot better shape and the concrete in the garage a lot better shape than it would be by bare concrete. One of the nice things about using this particular epoxy floor coating too is it keeps the garage cleaner. It's also a breathable film, is that correct? So it's not going to peel. It, it does, and actually a lot of people enter through the house through the garage mm -hmm. and it's going to keep your house a lot cleaner too because it's not going to allow the dust to accumulate Very on good. the floor. Now this is going to resist the hot tires too, and we're not going to have any peeling problems with this. That's exactly right. It's also going to be two times stronger than the bond with the bond than regular concrete. Really? So, yeah. Excellent. And the drying time's overnight, so we're going to let it dry, and when we come back, we're going to show you how you can even add more protection. Well, Rich, our project turned out great. I love it. The garage is super clean. I love the flex. It kind of breaks up the field of color. Yeah, it really, really looks good, Gary. Yeah, it sure does. Now, you talked about adding another layer of protection. We have another kit. Why do we need to put that on top of this? Well, the premium clear coat epoxy is just a spectacular finish to any painted job. Whether it's bare concrete or stained concrete, it's just going to add so much better look to it, like it's going to be a showroom floor at a car dealership. Okay. And even add more protection against the salts. And stuff. Absolutely, yes, it is. All right, well, let's start the procedure here. Again, we have a part A and a part B. We're mixing those. How long do we need to make that rest? We need to make it rest for about 30 minutes. Just as before with the other epoxy paint. Now you're adding something else to this. It's an anti-skid resin that's going to help us keep from slipping on this finish when it's done. All right, very good. Now the application, using a brush in the corners, cutting in, same type of roller cover when we rolled in? 3 8 inch nap as before, yes. All right, all right. Now these kits, of course, they're available in any hardware stores except the custom colors. Custom colors are still only available at Lowe's Home Improvement stores across the United States. Well, I'll tell you, when it's all finished, it looks phenomenal. A nice, huge gloss to that floor. And what a great idea to paint the garage floor for protection of the concrete, but also to keep the garage much cleaner. And more livable, too. Looks great.